Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to insert data into SQLite using Python. So right now we have this connection set up with a memory database. So we create that table fresh and now we're going to insert a piece of data. So to do that, we're going to do it similar to how we did the create table and that we use execute and pass in some SQL here. Which I haven't even defined SQL. SQL is structured query language. It is this code right here that we use to talk to databases. And that's what we're gonna be using to create tables, insert data, delete data, and so forth. So what we do here is we say insert into, and then what table we wanna insert that data into, which is books. So we'll go in here and say books, and then we say values, and then inside of parentheses, we're going to put what we want for the title and the pages. So I'm gonna go with my favorite children's book, are you my mother, comma, 72, which is the number of pages in this book. And then after we execute this, we have to do one extra step, and that is con.commit. So notice the first time we're working with the cursor object, the next time we're working with the connection object. So the commit is going to be used anytime we wanna insert data into the table. So we can run this, make sure we don't have any errors. And it looks like it's good, but I actually haven't taught you how to retrieve that data. We're gonna go into that in detail in the next video. For now, just follow along, because I'm gonna be teaching you another way to insert data, and that is if you don't wanna specify a value for a particular field. So for example, let's say we wanted to leave pages blank, and we just didn't put a value here. Well, running this, it's not gonna let us. It says table books has two columns, right, which is title and pages but one values were supplied. So how can we do that? Well, we actually need to specify what column we want this to go to. So to do that, where it says insert into books, you can put another set of parentheses here and put the column you're looking for. So we'll just go with title. And in this situation, it's not quoted and it works. So we run it and now we're not getting any errors. But what I wanna do now is actually check the table to make sure that data is being inserted properly. And that's what we're gonna be going over in the next video. So stay tuned and please be sure to subscribe.